So, um, we, we all know Mr. James Vince, king, king of the Sydney Sixes, he, he's crushing it as ever. And I know it annoys my fellow podcast host, but, you know, he's just the, one of the most gifted players in the history of modern day cricket. So, you know, you just can't, you can't keep him down for long. Hmm. And uh, when you say it annoys, uh, I, I thought I came out with a gem. So if, if Burns and Hamid s- continue to struggle down under um, by, by Boxing Day, um, I think out, outside shout, rinse to open. Well, you know, people won't be surprised to say this, but I wouldn't say no. Shock goes around the podcast as I say that. But no, on, honestly, like, on a slightly serious note, <laughs> Only slightly. I think that James Sins is one of the only English bats who's consistently getting runs in Australia right now. Yes, it happens to be the Big Bash, but he averages something like 60, just under 64 in Australia at the moment. He was highest run scorer in the Big Bash last year. Well, at least highest run scorer by an Englishman last year in the Big Bash. He got... No, a nine, 95 on no, 98 it was in the semi-final and then they got 100 in the final the big bash last year it's just i think especially with covid you need to make sure you have a play it doesn't need to bubble come straight into a squad because unfortunately the england lions have come on this side like the england b team come on the tour and they were something like 19 for four mm. la- uh, last week so i don't hold much hope out for them and I think he's malleable. You know, Vince now has started playing at five in the county champ to go anywhere. And I honestly think, like, he was 20 runs away from the Gabba last year, well, 15 runs away last year, last time he played the Gabba in 2017, from getting that Ashes 100 and being a bit of an Ashes hero. So I honestly think that if it really gets bad, I don't see the point of just rolling the dice and giving it to him. I think that would be something I would love. But 